Hey guys, uh, Mr. Burns here again, bringing another math video. Uh, this one is on finding the max area. So, <clears throat> excuse me, you've probably already done a unit, or you've start, you're in the midst of a unit on quadratic functions and some of the characteristics of them. And this is one of the types of word problems that you'll often run into. So I've got an example here, and we'll probably do another one after this one. So I wrote this one out, so it'll save us a bit of time. So it says, a rectangular lot is bounded on one side by a river, and on the other three sides by... Uh, 80 meters of fencing. So it says find the max area. So the first thing I always tell my students to do in a situation like this is draw a picture. So you've got a river over here somewhere and there's a rectangular lot. So here's a lot. So you can see this side over here and I'll put some waves here. So that's the river and you have the fencing that goes along and makes up this area here somewhere. So what I tell my students is to give this give this um, some dimensions. So uh, I'll just use W and L, and you can use X and Y or whatever you want to, right? So um, this guy's W, and this is a W over here, and then we have one length L. So generally in these uh, questions, we have to come up with a set of equations um, that we need to solve, basically. So let me just change my color here. Um, let's go with red. Alright, so the first equation, very straightforward. It's an area question. The area of a rectangle is just length times width. So area is equal to L times W. So that's our first equation. The second equation that we know for a rectangle is perimeter. So if you looked at the perimeter, the perimeter is all the fencing. So that's what the perimeter is. And we know what that equals. That equals 80. So the perimeter is actually 80. We have that number. So what we need to find from that is what equals 80. Well, what we have that equals 80 is these, this w and this w, so that's 2w, and then plus this one length, so 2w plus l. So there it is. The two equations that's going to get us started. So one comes from the area, the other one comes from the perimeter. So I have 80 meters of fencing, that's the perimeter of fencing I have, not the entire way around the rectangle, the only actual amount of fencing that I have. I have a river bank here that's, um, that I don't have the fence, I just have um, you know, these three pieces, two w's, two widths, and one l. Alright, so the second thing I have to do now is so, sort of combine this in one equation. So if I look at this second one, that's really easy to solve for l. And then I'm going to sub it back in for L here. The reason I'm doing that is because I want a quadratic equation in terms of one variable. Um, and one of those variables must be area. Because I want to find where that quadratic is a max. Therefore, I want to find where area is a max. So I'll take this guy and I'll solve that for L. So L is equal to, so all I'm going to do is basically subtract 2W from both sides here. So I get 80 subtract 2w just like that so then I'm gonna sub that right here for L so this entire thing right here 80 minus 2w is gonna go straight back in there for L just like that so area is equal to and then length times width so my L is now 80 minus 2w and then I'll times by W just like that. So now I had to distribute here. So multiply both of these guys by W. So uh, subtract 2W times W is negative 2W squared. And that's plus 80 times W. So that's 80W. And there I have it. That is a quadratic function in terms of its uh, width. So I need to find the value of w, basically the dimension of the width that's going to make area the biggest. So when you think about quadratics, you've probably learned a couple different ways to be able to find uh, when it has a max or a min. So um, if it has a negative coefficient on the highest power or the x squared term or the w squared term in our case, uh, that means it has a maximum value. So we need to find it, and basically the maximum value corresponds with the vertex. So anytime you read max in one of these questions, 
you're thinking automatically I need to find the vertex so I show my students a really neat way to be able to find the vertex that doesn't require completing the squared it's called the axis of symmetry and the axis of symmetry is is basically x but in our case our x is w because that's what we have in terms of our variables x is equal to um, negative b over 2a so you're, you're probably familiar with this form of a quadratic ax squared plus bx plus c so the axis of symmetry for this guy will be negative b over 2a so that's probably what you've seen it as if you've seen it if you haven't seen it that's how you can think of it so all we're interested in is what this b and what this a value is so that corresponds to negative 2 for a and then uh, 80 for b so we'll plug it right in so negative 80 all divided by 2 times negative 2 and when you do that course you get negative 80 divided by negative 4 that's going to be a positive 20 and of course that's uh, meters because that's what we're dealing with so there's our meters so now if we want to go back and find what the w length is I can use this formula so I know my W is equal to uh, 20 so I can find my length I'll do that over here length is equal to 80 minus 2W so 80 minus 2 times 20 and that of course is going to give us um, 40 meters and there it is there's my length so I got the dimensions that give me the maximum area now in order to find the actual max area I have to have to multiply them 20 times 40 it's just going to be 800 meters squared so just like that so another way you could have got the this actual area calculation without finding the the length is I could have took this guy and subbed it right back in here for W as well so that would have allowed us to find the maximum area without finding the actual length uh, the length of the rectangle but some questions will ask you to find the dimensions and then the max area um, so you know this is a really good question in any uh, pre-calculus course um, I was going to make two videos, guys, but this uh, two questions, but this one is going on a bit long, so I'll just do another video on the next type of question where um, you sort of have maybe a boundary between these two, so there might be two little sections marked off. All right, guys, I really hope this video helped, and I'll uh, see you guys in class. Thanks for watching.